that look away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tag or the disrespect. If we play better, button check. Button check. What is up, Butt Check family? Welcome back to yet again a beautiful morning of checking these buttons. We are here, chapters down below as always. And of course, that sub button right there on the race to 50K, 50K, on the race to 60K. Thank you guys so much for all the love. We got a hot one. This one just was uh, unraveling yesterday, like literally last night. So we got to check this among other things. Without further ado, let's go. All right, now into the first set of Evo asking a simple question and Leffen getting trolled to shit. Buttons that need to be checked. Oh my God, this one is, I mean, it's kind of hilarious. Y'all be the judge. All right, so first of all, I wanna give a shout out to Mace No Can who tagged me in this saying, bruh, these comments, exactly. I was literally reading like, like, holy shit, what is going on? Okay, Evo posted this yesterday saying, do you believe in your man? Showing this nice little picture of Leffen, right? I believe with this quote directly from him saying, no matter how bad the character is, it's on you to pick the best character for you and to push it. And down below you can see it says William Leffen. Don't know how to pronounce that last name, but I didn't, anybody else know that Leffen's name was William? I had no idea. Okay, so that's kind of cool, right? A little inspirational, but mm, we are dealing with the FGC, so it's the opposite. Let's do some scrolling right here so we get the scrolling here. First one right off the bat, you see Leffen mains Fox and Happy Chaos. I'm not taking this advice <laughs> from him out of all people that has over 500 likes. Down below, I got the real quote, uh, fam, don't worry. It's on you to pick the best character. Okay, so they removed that second part. Here you go, <laughs> my reaction to that information. Yeah, all right, keeps going. I have the real quote, you're blocked. <laughs> all right, keep going, don't worry. I got the real quote, trust me, you know absolutely nothing about streaming. Alt, if you think minimum wage jobs are harder. Oh, damn, you remember that debate? All right. Uh, this is such a funny ass statement coming from Leffen of all people. Then continue on, let's see what we got. Uh, remind me who he mains and you can see right here, continuing on, Evo is going as low as content uh, bait now because this has to be content bait considering the man only goes for top tiers. And then of course here goes Mace No Ken and let's continue out. So what I got, the man who populari popularized low tiers such as check notes, Fox and happy chaos. And if you continue on, it's pretty much the same thing, right? People are like rich from the uh, one who only means top tiers, last person people trying to hear from, and so on, it keeps going. Y'all get the picture. But it actually gets deeper because Leffen sees it and fires back right here saying, post the full quote, come on bro, fuck low tier mains who use it as an excuse to suck though. Then right here, this is the screenshot that he's commenting on saying, I think it's both sad and funny that so many people who play characters not considered top tier actually sit and pray every night that top tier wins every single tournament no matter what the size also they don't have to accept that they're the problem newsflash if you pick a bad character and you do bad you're just bad no matter how bad the character is it's on you to pick the best character for you and to push it sure you can intentionally pick worse characters for fun but it isn't a valid excuse to suck or to lose damn wow this man look Wow. Did he not just fire back? Holy shit. And it continues. I see he posted more. He goes on right here, uh, responding to Apology Man. What did Apology Man say? Let's say Apology Man probably said some shit. Okay, yeah, he did. He said, gonna tell myself this next time when Chip dashes full screen to grab my trumpet. Then down below, you can see uh, Leffen saying, you pick Faust when he was bottom tier and unironically chose this life. And you can see the bike and the person falling. <laughs> okay. And then he adds on right here saying, to add to this, like it or not, accessing character strength quickly and early and choosing the best possible main for you is 100% part of being a top fighting game player, especially in patch games. If you look at anyone who's amazing in multiple games, you will find that they play almost exclusively top tiers. But more than that, people often look at people like Kazunoko, Go1, Sonic Fox, Takedo, etc. to see who they play and to have it confirmed that the character is cheap since they're playing it because they're not good at picking them. It's just that the FGC idolizes Asian players for doing it but calls Western players carry top whores for doing the same thing. Oh my God, we, oh my God, we checking these buttons. Damn. Okay, the man doesn't spit, right? On one hand, hey, hey, it is what it is. You gotta give him props. He said, if you're gonna post it, post it. I didn't say that. I said, it's important to know who's strong and who's weak and go for the strongest. Because if you're gonna be one of the, you know, a professional or that level, uh, especially in patch games, you want to figure out who's strong the earliest, you know, at the earliest time possible. 
Um, he was like, like it or not, that's what you gotta do. Don't give your ex don't give your ex fuck, I can't talk. Don't give yourself an excuse to lose is what the hell I'm trying to say. Down below, I can see they continue to comment. Uh, people are like, uh, Taquito is Asian and is the poster boy for tear whores worldwide. Left in response saying, that's why he's my goat. So there you have it, man. So yeah, I think on one hand, maybe obviously he was misquoted. He wasn't having it. Leffin was like, bitch, if you're gonna post the real quote, uh, post a quote from me, post it all, like, damn. I mean, what was that? On one hand, you gotta love the FGC's initial reaction, right? Posting that shit, making everybody laugh. But on the other hand, you gotta love the spirit of Leffin for backing up the shit and be like, no, 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 no. Let me tell you what really happened. And that quote sticks out to me, man. What do y'all think about that? The way he wrapped it up was like, People just idolize Asian players for doing it, but call the Western players carry top tier whores for doing the same thing. Mm, that might be science, y'all. That might be church. What y'all thinking? Because it's true. If you've been in the FGC long enough, you know that we have idolized Asian players for a long time. You know, Japan's the best, yada, yada. They've always been up here and rightfully so, right? And you've always heard that debate as well. Like, oh, if you do a wake up or if you do this, it's scrubby, but if you see Daigo do the same thing, all of a sudden it was calculated and it was planned. Now, obviously, it could very well be, you know what I'm saying? We have seen Western players being accused of being scrubs more than not, right? And I would think it even goes deeper than that because it's like pro players, you know, versus just non-pro players. You see that as well, right? If anybody's not a pro player or top tier or whatever, um, they're, you know, usually called a scrub if they do a certain move that's questionable. But if you see a pro player do it, then you're usually the same thing, like, oh, it must have been calculated. It must have been like the only the right option, right? Well, I think it goes a little deeper than just Western versus, you know, the Asian culture or whatnot, but how y'all feeling? Then it wraps up right here with somebody updates that quote from Leffen right under, right under what he was saying, saying, damn, that's crazy. Here you go. Fuck low tier mains. There you have it. All right, and now to them streamer receiving the strangest damn gift, buttons that need to be checked. So let's go ahead and check this one before we get out of here. By the way, how y'all liking the hat, the button check hat, right? Wifey got it for me for Christmas. One of my gifts, I love you, thank you baby for the gift. And the funny thing is, is I was gonna wear a different hat, but she was like, you, why you ain't wearing a hat? Wear my hat. Why you ain't wearing, I'm like, okay, 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 I got you, I got you baby, I'll put the hat on, shit. Anyway, now you know why I'm wearing the hat. I like it too, but. Okay, so there's a streamer, right? And I'll definitely put his information down below so you can check him out. I believe his uh, name is Greg Knockemoff. So uh, Deserto covered this one saying, Twitch streamer gets an insane present for Christmas. Let's go ahead and check it out. Ready, go. Hey, yo! What is this? <laughs> he said, hey, yo! Don't even know what it is. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro sent me a fucking choker that says daddy's whore. Bro, what the fuck is wrong with you, cuz? What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? What the fuck is wrong, bro? Yo, there you go, daddy's whore. Gotta love it, right? No, actually, you don't gotta love it. <laughs> what the hell was that? Like I said, I, this is my first time learning the young man, so I'm not sure what type of vibe he's putting out there into the universe. But somebody obviously was getting a different type of vibe because they sent him the choker with the daddy's horn. I don't know if y'all been rocking with the channel that long, but we used to have a P.O. box when we did Bogus Journeys. And y'all actually would send us stuff, man. It would be like cookies or treats. Sometimes it would be some weird shit. Sometimes it would be dope ass artwork. Quick story, this is a fun fact. Literally, all the stuff behind me is stuff that you guys sent in when we had a P.O. box. That's why every time I look at this set, every time I'm walking or filming, I look at this stuff and I'm like the FGC built button check. You know what I'm saying? Button check was, listen, I'm getting a little deep here. The FGC created the intro for button check, the logo for button check, and then the set for button check. On top of that, hold your horses, here we go. The name button check. We had a contest to see what the name of the show be, show should be. You guys chose it. I forgot the name of the person, but I know they're from Detroit, Michigan. They won a gift card and they named it button check. This is the show that the FGC built. Hallelujah, praise be. Man, that just uplifted my spirit. Isn't that a, isn't that's a blessing, right? That just leads me to believe that we're going in the right direction. Anyway, we are for the people of the people. So check it out. This actually makes me think I should open the peel box. Wouldn't that be cool? I'll open the peel box again. Y'all could send whatever you want to send and I'll open it every now and then. 
at the end of a show or, you know, on stuff like that. I think that would be exciting. So definitely I'll look forward to possibly doing that again. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Don't, about the daddy's choker shit, that's, some, that's a reach. You know what I'm saying? But either way, it was entertaining. How y'all feeling? Let me know. And that is, ladies and gents. Definitely let me know how you are feeling. I'm feeling good, man, because now we're we posting a little early. We're trying to get back on schedule. I'm so sorry for the late post, man. We've been behind, but that just means we're getting back on track. And then the Patreon video is coming today. Patreons, I want you to know, man, your support, whether it's $1 a month, $5 a month, $10, whatever it is, Honestly, you gotta understand, it means the world to me, especially right now, you know, going full time. So thank you guys so much, and I'm not, I'm not gonna let you down. We're gonna hit that, with, uh, hit you with a video tonight. And as always, if we don't see you tomorrow, it'll definitely be the next day, and y'all already know, I don't know what it is, but I know it's about to get better. Love y'all forever. Peace. Blah blah blah. Subscribe. You can. And now into that moment of FGC bliss. This one was posted the other day by uh, at AO Perp. If I'm saying that right, right? Their information down below, definitely check them out. They said, LOL, might be my favorite rage quit. The frame it froze on is gold. Enjoy. Did anybody else know that that's how she hit people back to the ground? Oh my God. Capcom is savage putting that shit. Ooh! Ah! Damn, we need some ice just watching that shit.